you wouldn't believe it, but I just woke up and I don't have a shirt on. But I wanted to chat about something and I will put a shirt on here in a second. Some people don't realize that their life's a book. Some people don't realize that whatever they're doing in life right now is gonna be read about at some point in their life, whether that's through their kids or whether that's through family or whether that's through what they did in life. And it's your book. You know, think about it for instance. You, the, the life that you're living right now, the life that you want to live, the life that you're dreaming about living is going to be a book. And what's your book going to look like? Kevin Hart put it best. You know, what is your book going to look like? What are you going to do in this life that people are going to remember? Now, let me put a shirt on to stop creeping you guys out. You know, it's weird. We always think that our lives dictated by other people. You know, I, and I'm one of those persons that used to believe a while back and you may be the same that people would always write your story for you. You know, things would go wrong because of somebody else. You would lose money because of somebody else. You would have bad feelings because of somebody else. But I wanted to let you know that you're the dictator of your life. You're the person who can actually sit down and write your own story. As much as it feels like somebody else is gonna have the ability to write your own story, don't forget that you are running your life. You have the ability to do things in your life that you didn't think you could. So what's your story gonna look like? Are you gonna sit down and actually work towards something? Or are you gonna sit down and pretend like everything's okay? And it's not to come off as rude and not to come off as something that is arrogant and is something that's gonna make you stop wanting to go after a certain thing. What it should do is inspire you to write your story. Inspire you to think about your kids and think about your future and think about how many people are going to want to read your story. <clears throat> because if you can take this message for what it is and say, you know what, I want to go out there and do something with my life. I want to go out there and write my story. I want to go out there and prove to myself that I can do something or prove to God and, and use God in a way that helps me create a story. Then you're going to flourish and you're going to prosper. And I really do think that people are starting to not think that they can write a story. People think that it's for the successful people. I was one of those people who didn't think that I could do anything like this. I was always worried because it like I looked back on my life and I thought my name wasn't cool. But now as a 23 year old male who's realizing he's writing his own story by all the actions that he takes. Now my name's cool. It's got a cool ring to it. I like it. I always thought my name wasn't going to be anything because it wasn't special. But when I, when I got older to now, I realized that everybody's name was nothing until they got special. You know, a cool name didn't sound like a cool name to them when they were a kid. It just sounds like a cool name to us now. What's your story going to look like? Don't ever let somebody else write your story. Write your own story. Is it going to look cool? Is it going to look like you're successful? Is it going to look like you're prosperous? And it doesn't mean that successful is a whole lot of money and no relationships. Successful to you could mean that you have a good relationship to God. Successful to you could, could mean that you have a good relationship to your family. Whatever successful means to you, let's let that be your story. Let's let that be your book. Is your struggle coming up from being nothing to being something? Is the struggle coming up of having nothing to having everything? Is the struggle coming up of having no relationship to your father and working out a relationship with your father or being there for your kids? What's your book going to look like? What's your story going to look like? Don't fall into the trap that people are writing your story. As much as it feels like there's people out there who have the power over you and are going to write your story and are going to swing your moves and are going to say that you make this amount of money and you are not able to see your kids anymore. Don't let anybody write your story. Write your own story. Bring yourself up to that level. Excite yourself and say, this is my time to make my story.